Ulysses notoriously is all set on one day, the 16th of June, 1904. And it really only has three major characters, one of whom is based very closely on Joyce's own experience, that's Stephen Dedalus. And then a married couple, Leopold Bloom and Molly Bloom. And it's about what they do on that day. It's really famous for being a book of encyclopedic and psychological realism. So Leopold Bloom is roughly based on Odysseus, the hero of Homer's text, The Odyssey. And in a way, he is a kind of hero of the everyday. He actually has, 16th of June 1904 is actually an extraordinarily difficult day for him. He's 38, his daughter has left home, his son didn't survive much beyond childbirth. He's estranged from his wife, he realises that his wife is about to have an affair and he spends the day wandering the streets feeling sad and goes to the funeral of a colleague. But in a way, the difficulties of his day are communicated so passionately that I think almost everyone feels a sense of affiliation and fellow feeling to Leopold Bloom that in a way all of us see some of our own lives reflected in his experience right from the way he feeds the cat to the way he thinks about his marriage to the way he thinks about the past the present, the future, what he's going to have for dinner that day, which pub he's going to go to, is just so incredibly kind of passionate and human and relatable. And that's why, in a sense, Bloomsday is celebrated every year on the 16th of June. On Bloomsday, people reenact certain scenes in the book and they walk the streets of Dublin to commemorate where the characters are. So it's incredibly realistic. So the city is mapped by the novel or the novel is mapped by the city, whichever way you look at it. But it, you can do quite a number of significant Ulysses walks. And what people do is they dress up in Edwardian dress and walk the streets. But every city has, every English speaking city has a Bloomsday. Um, celebration of some kind and it's an event which has grown and grown. It's kind of interesting to think that you know it's not a saint's day but it's almost become a kind of religious feast in and of itself. James Joyce is a major 20th century Irish writer particularly associated with innovations in the form of the novel particularly the modernist novel, and associated very strongly with the idea of the stream of consciousness and for bringing psychology into the representations of realistic fiction. Stream of consciousness is when the character's thoughts are represented in the text. So instead of simply representing what a character says, you represent the character's thought process as it occurs on the page. Um, so it's a bit like hearing yourself thinking, but it's written down. So for the Irish state and for Irish people more generally, Joyce's significance is considerable. He's really the most famous of a large group of major writers produced in Ireland in the 20th century. Others include W.B. Yeats, Seamus Heaney, Samuel Beckett, and there's a very vibrant continuing literary tradition of Irish writers. But Joyce is really the most well known of all, and for a time was on one of the banknotes. I think it was an old £10 Irish um, banknote that Joyce was on. So he's really considered the most important um, Irish author of that generation. And I think that's partly to do with the size and scope of Ulysses and partly to do with just Joyce's um, relatability. In a sense, that feeling that he put Ireland and particularly Irish Catholicism onto a world literary map. <laughs>